advanced Photoshop users not welcome. This tutorial is strictly for complete beginners without any Photoshop experience. This is an update of the previous face painting tutorial. The difference between this tutorial and the previous tutorial is that in this tutorial I'll be using displacement maps and also I'll be masking the layer instead of using the eraser tool. In this face painting tutorial I'll be showing you how to superimpose a flag on a subject's face in Adobe Photoshop. This can be used for your public profile pictures for Facebook, Twitter or any other social media. You can have the freedom to paint your face or your body with a graphic you like. It could be the logo of a football team you support or the logo of a company or organization you represent. It could be a clown or a cartoon character. It could be for fun or a serious cause. You can use the same method to create a tattoo effect. If you're interested to watch that video, please press the link above. In order to successfully complete this tutorial and get immediate results, please ignore all other tools on Photoshop and only focus on the ones necessary for this task. Right, I've just opened the Adobe Photoshop and in this face painting tutorial I'll be showing you how to superimpose a flag on the subject's face. Uh, this will be a little bit different from my previous tutorial in that we're not going to be using um, the eraser tool and also we're going to be using uh, displacement maps. So let's open our documents and get started. Okay, if I go onto my desktop so I'll file open and uh, on my desktop I've got a file uh, called face painting tutorial and as you can see I have two um, pictures in there I've got a girl and I've also got the US flag so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, left click my mouse and drag over both files and then press open okay so there you go we have we have two files we have the girl and we also have on the second tab we have the uh, American flag so the first thing I have to do is I have to select the flag copy it, and then paste it onto the uh, other document so I'm going to go to select all edit copy and then go to the the other tab which is the, our girl our subject and edit paste okay um, so now you can see we've got two layers we've got the background layer which is the girl and we've also got the uh, layer on the top which is the American flag you have to have your layer window open just in case you can't see this window okay if it's not enabled you can go to window and make sure that layers is checked okay so if I uncheck it you'll see it will disappear so windows and layers must be checked. The first thing we have to do, we're going to select our flag layer and we're going to turn down the capacity to just over 50% so it's transparent. Okay, so now that it's transparent, we can manipulate the image uh, so that it could fit the face. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to um, fit this. Uh, flag on the subject's face. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is by going to edit free transform and if I go close to the corners of the flag you'll see that um, some handles appear uh, and I'm able to rotate the image right and what you do you press your left button down and you can then rotate it all right so I'm rotating it okay clockwise okay and you can actually position it by holding your left button down and moving it around okay so what I'll do now um, I'll take um, the corner handle okay and by clicking my left mouse down I can drag it so that it expands okay and um, okay I think I'd like the image to be about there and then when you're finished when you're happy with the result put your mouse anywhere inside the uh, image and just double click with your left mouse in the previous uh, face painting tutorial at this stage I showed you how to use the eraser tool to delete uh, around the image 
so, so that we can get the effect. Okay, but this time round, what we're going to do is we're going to use a layer mask. While the top layer is selected, you press this icon here and straight away it masks the layer. But what we want to do is we want to hide the image and we just want to select the bits that we want to show. So the way to do that is by pressing your control button on the keyboard and simultaneously pressing the I. So you're pressing them both at the same time. So from white we've inverted the color to black and because it's black it's hiding the image. By using the brush tool and using the white color we can paint back parts of the flag that we want to show on the image. So we'll select the brush tool here. Before we start painting we have to make sure that the layer mask is selected which is this bit here. Click with your left mouse button on the second box just to make sure. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my zoom tool here and zoom up a little bit closer and the way to do that is by holding the left mouse button down on the top left corner where you want to zoom in and dragging it down to the bottom right corner like so okay so anyway we've got our image there to navigate up and down you can use the scroll bar or if your mouse has a wheel you can use that okay so I'm going to grab hold of the uh, brush tool now and uh, we want to make sure that by using this icon, the arrow icon here, we're going to switch to the white color and with the brush settings we're going to make sure that the hardness, we don't want it to be too hard but at the same time we don't want it to be too soft and also we're going to make it a bigger size because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, um, I think about that size is good. As long as you can like uh, get around her chin, I think it's good enough. So I'm going to start painting the image. And as you can see, as I paint, you can see the flag showing through. Okay, and uh, what we'll do, we'll paint the whole face to begin with. And then later on, we'll subtract the eyes and the mouth. And, you know, don't worry if, you, if it bleeds. Um, outside of the face, okay, because we can correct that in a minute. So, that we've painted that like that, okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, select the black brush, right, by pressing this icon again to switch to the black. We're going to make the size much smaller with this uh, brush. Um, in fact, before I do that, I just want to zoom up a little bit closer. So, once again, uh, with the zoom tool, click the left button, drag towards the right, and release. Okay? And we're going to select, again, we're going to select the um, brush tool. Okay? And we're going to make it smaller than that. Okay? So we can paint around the eyes. Can you see now that I'm painting? You know, the, the eyes are coming back. Okay, right. Okay, and also the other eye. Like that. Okay. We can do the mouth as well, like this. Okay, I'll select a bigger brush now. You know, just make it a little bit bigger so I can like um, paint this area here, like that. Okay, and and then you know if you do make any mistakes, like you can see that the um, the skin is showing a little bit there. I'll just switch back to my white brush and just cover those areas there. Okay, like that. That's it. And that looks uh, pretty complete. I'll just do under the eyes a little bit there. Okay. Okay, we'll rub that bit off there. Okay, where where the hair where it's covering the hair. Okay, like that. 
and if I take my zoom tool and right click and fit on screen so once I've done that and once you've done that and you're happy with the results um, you can right click on the mask and apply layer mask which will cut out the image to that size okay now what we have to do is we're going to make it 100% we're going to make the capacity 100% and we're going to duplicate the image so we're going to right click and duplicate layer and we've got a layer one copy okay so next what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hide the top layer uh, by pressing the eye icon okay and select the bottom layer one okay and what we're going to do with this layer is we're going to make it white so there's many ways of doing this but this time round I'm going to come up here to image adjustments and levels and I'm going to take this slider here and push it all the way to to the white okay so as you can see there it's gone white and press OK okay so um, now we have to change the blending mode of this layer um, I'm going to make it saturated so select saturation on the blending mode and as you can see uh, the face looks like it's being painted so it's got that um, uh, pale looking effect uh, if I if I uh, press the um, visibility the eye icon you can see that it it's much paler and it looks white okay right the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the top layer and we're gonna press on the uh, eye icon okay and we're gonna select a blending mode for this one okay we're gonna select the multiply blending mode okay and as you can see straight away there's a, there's an effect okay and uh, what, what I would do is I would actually uh, put the fill down a little bit okay so that the colors are not so intense on the face okay so uh, around about there is good and um, in the last tutorial uh, this is where we actually finish the tutorial so um, but like I said we this time round we're going to use a displacement map to actually uh, change the form of the flag okay so it looks like it's wrapped around the face so the way we do that is by first of all uh, I'm gonna hide these two layers okay the top layers by clicking the eye icon okay and I'm going to right click on my background uh, layer and duplicate layer we're not going to name it we're just going to keep it as background copy now with this layer I'm going to go up to image adjustments black and white okay and press the OK and uh, next we're gonna we we want to make this image with a lot more contrast so I'll we'll have to go to image adjustments curves what you have to do is select the curve and hold it with your left mouse button and push it up can you see that it's gone much brighter now okay and then once you do that you go a little bit lower on the curve and push it down okay so that you can see now that that it's that there's a lot of contrast and press OK okay we have to save this image now okay as our displacement map so I'll go up to file save as and I'm gonna call it displacement and it's gonna save it as a PSD image and I'm going to press save okay now once you've done that uh, this image is not required anymore so you can simply press this the the bin icon and delete the layer okay so you just press yes and what we're going to do now is enable the two top layers again before we apply the uh, displacement map 
uh, can you see that the lines in the flag are, are too, too straight? And although the effect is quite impressive, it still looks uh, to me a little bit unnatural. Uh, the purpose of using the displacement map for this image is to get the flag image to wrap around the uh, curvature of the face to make the effect look much more realistic. Okay, so we're going to do that and you'll see the difference. Okay, and I want to select the top layer, okay, which is the flag. And we're going to have to go to filter, distort, displace, okay. And what I'll do, I'll choose wrap around instead of repeat edge pixels. And we're going to stretch it to fit, okay leave that like that and the horizontal scale I'm going to put it on one and the vertical scale I'm going to put it on two and press OK. Once you press OK you have to select the displacement map and I'm going to select the the map that we made just a little while ago so I'll select that and press open and straight away you see the map has stretched the image and it's uh, taken shape of the face okay because we've used our displacement map yeah and it's only a subtle effect but it's good enough uh, to make it look more realistic so anyway that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you again in my next tutorial thanks for watching this video if you've enjoyed it please leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel 